I am honored to have the opportunity to speak to you today about the topic of Analyze Variability in DOE using Minitab. This is a subject that holds great importance in the field of research and analysis. Experimentation is a fundamental aspect of scientific inquiry, allowing researchers to explore the relationships between variables and uncover new insights into the natural world. This systematic process involves carefully manipulating specific factors, known as variables, and then observing and analyzing the resulting effects. Through experimentation, scientists can test hypotheses, validate theories, and ultimately contribute to the advancement of knowledge in their respective fields. In the process of experimentation, researchers aim to understand the impact of input variables on the performance or output of a product or process. This involves systematically varying the input variables and observing the corresponding changes in the output. The ultimate goal is to identify the optimum settings for the input variables that result in the desired output or performance. A two-level factorial design is a powerful tool for researchers looking to efficiently study the impact of multiple factors at two levels each. This design allows for the identification of significant factors and how they interact with each other. By systematically varying the levels of each factor, researchers can observe the main effects of individual factors as well as any interactions between factors. This approach is particularly useful when there are limited resources or time constraints, as it allows for the simultaneous testing of multiple factors. In a designed experiment, analyzing the standard deviation of multiple observations taken at each run condition can provide valuable insights into the variation of responses across different process settings. By comparing the standard deviations, researchers can detect differences in the variability of the outcomes, which can be indicative of how stable or consistent the process is under varying conditions. Use Analyze Variability to answer questions as, which factor settings minimize variation in the response? For example, coating thickness and lead content should be consistent across batches. Replication, in the context of experiments and studies, holds two important properties that are essential for the advancement of knowledge and understanding in any field. The first property is the estimate of the experimental error. The second property of replication is the more precise estimate of the effect. Through replication, researchers can not only validate the initial findings but also refine and enhance the accuracy of the effect being studied. Repetition, in the context of scientific research, refers to the practice of measuring a response variable multiple times under similar conditions. By conducting repeated measures, researchers are able to gain a better understanding of the inherent variability within a treatment, allowing for more accurate and reliable results. Maximum likelihood estimation, MLE, is a powerful statistical method used to estimate the parameters of a probability distribution based on a given sample. Least squares estimates are a fundamental tool in statistical analysis and regression modeling. By minimizing the sum of the squared deviations between the observed data points and the fitted regression line, least squares estimates provide a robust method for determining the best fitting line through a set of data. A manufacturer wants to minimize the variation of coating thickness. A quality team identified five factors that impact the coating thickness. The goal is to find the factor settings that minimize the part-to-part -part variation and maintain the average thickness at 85 mm, plot the main effect and interaction plot. Identify the optimum settings that minimize the variation of coating thickness. Preprocess responses for analyze variability. Choose STAT DOE a factorial a create factorial design. Choose two level factorial, default generators, from number of factors, choose five. Click designs. In the designs box at the top, highlight the row for a half fraction. Complete the dialog box as below. Click OK in each dialog box. The table presented here displays the outcomes of the design experiment regarding coating thickness. Ten repeated measurements are recorded for each experimental run. Standard order is the typical order of the experimental runs. 
Run order is the order of the experimental runs. Choose STAT a DOE a factorial a preprocess responses for analyze variability. Under standard deviations to use for analysis, select compute for repeat responses across row, select OBS1, OBS10. In store standard deviations in, enter STD dev. In store means, optional, in, enter mean. Click OK. Calculate the mean and standard deviation for each experimental run. Choose STAT the DOE a factorial, analyze variability. In response, standard deviations, enter STD dev. Click Terms. In include terms in the model up through order, choose 5 from the drop down list. Click OK. Click Options. In estimation method, choose maximum likelihood from the drop down list. Click OK. Click Graphs. Under Effects Plots, check Pareto. Under Residual Plots, check 4 in 1. Click OK in each dialog box. A Pareto chart of effects shows which terms contribute the most to the variability in the response. The terms from top to bottom in decreasing order of importance. As we analyze the Pareto chart, we can clearly see the absolute value of the effects, providing us with valuable insights into where our focus should lie. The data at hand has revealed that any effect extending beyond the reference line of 1.645 is considered statistically significant. Furthermore, the Pareto chart shows that B, E, C, D, A, B, and B, D are significantly affect the standard deviation of thickness. The effect for a factor represents the predicted change in the mean response when the factor changes from the low level to the high level. It's important to note that effects are twice the value of the coded coefficients. This relationship allows us to quantify and measure the impact of a factor on the response. Furthermore, the sign of the effect indicates the direction of the relationship between the term and the response. The ratio effect indicates that the standard deviation increases by a factor of 1.5191 when time changed from the low to high level. The assumption of residual plot is a fundamental concept in regression analysis. The first assumption of residual plot is that the residuals should be normally distributed. Another assumption is that the residuals should exhibit constant variance, also known as homoscedasticity. Additionally, the assumption of residual plot includes that there should be no pattern in the residuals. Histograms are a useful exploratory tool for analyzing the characteristics of residuals in a statistical model. They provide a visual representation of the typical values, spread, and shape of the residuals, allowing analysts to identify any patterns or trends. In this case, the histogram of the residuals shows no outliers, indicating that there are no unusually large or small residual values that could significantly impact the model. Residuals versus fitted values. Upon examination of the data, it is evident that the constant variance assumption remains unviolated. This conclusion is drawn from the observation that the residuals display a random scattering around zero, and their dispersion appears to be consistent across all fitted values. In a residual versus order plot, it is essential to assess the pattern of the residuals to ensure that the assumption of independence is not violated. Upon examining the plot, it is evident that the residuals fluctuate in a seemingly random pattern around the center line. Specifically, if the residuals systematically exhibit a decreasing, increasing, or sudden change as the order of the observations increases from left to right, it suggests a pattern or correlation within the data that contradicts the assumption of independence. Factorial design for the mean. Choose STAT the DOE factorial analyze factorial design. Complete the dialog box as shown below. Click Terms. Verify the dialog box appears as shown below. Click OK. Click Graphs. Under Effects Plots, check Pareto. Under Residual Plots, check 4 in 1. Click OK in each dialog box. Click Stepwise. Under Method, select Backward Elimination. 
Click OK in each dialog box. Any effect that extends beyond this reference line, 1.83 is statistically significant. The Pareto chart shows that CE, E, A, and BC are significantly affect the mean of thickness. The assumption of residual plot is a fundamental concept in regression analysis. The first assumption of residual plot is that the residuals should be normally distributed. Another assumption is that the residuals should exhibit constant variance, also known as homoscedasticity. Additionally, the assumption of residual plot includes that there should be no pattern in the residuals. Choose STAT DOE factorial factorial plots. From response, select mean. Under variables to include in plots, move all variables from the available list to the selected list. Click OK. The main effect of a factor is the average influence of a change in the level of that factor on the response. The main effects plot indicates that both angle and speed have significant effects on mean. The mean increases as you move from the low level to the high level of the angle. The mean increases as you change speed from 3 to 6. Interaction plot shows how the relationship between the response variable and a predictor depends on the value of a second predictor. At velocity equals 14, the mean increase when speed is 6. It shows interaction effect between velocity and speed. Response optimization, also referred to as parameter optimization, plays a vital role in various fields such as engineering, science, and business. It involves the systematic exploration of different variable settings to identify the combination that maximizes a single response or a set of responses. Choose STAT DOE Factorial A Response Optimizer. Complete the dialog box as below. Click OK in each dialog box. After analyzing the optimization plot, the optimal settings for the predictors have been determined based on the specified parameters. The desirability for the data has been calculated to be 0.8584, indicating a high level of desirability. The goal of minimizing the standard deviation while meeting the target of 85 has been achieved through the identified settings. By utilizing the optimization plot, we were able to identify the combination of predictor settings that resulted in the desired outcome. This process allowed us to make informed decisions and optimize the predictors to meet our objectives. The desirability value of 0.8584 reflects the effectiveness of the chosen settings in achieving our goals. Composite desirability, D, is a crucial metric for evaluating the overall effectiveness of a set of response optimizations. It provides a comprehensive assessment of how well the settings align with the desired outcomes. With a range from 0 to 1, desirability offers a clear indication of the extent to which the responses meet their respective targets. A desirability score of 1 signifies an ideal scenario where all responses are within their acceptable limits, while a score of 0 indicates that one or more responses have failed to meet the desired criteria. The composite desirability, 0.8584, is close to 1, which indicates the setting seemed to achieve favorable results for all responses as a whole. The optimized settings are as below, angle, internal. In a carefully planned experiment, the analysis of standard deviation for multiple observations at each run condition can reveal variations in response across different process settings. It has been observed that it is often easier to adjust the process to meet a specific target than it is to minimize variation. Therefore, it is important to study both the mean and standard deviation during experimentation. By doing so, researchers can gain a comprehensive understanding of how process settings impact not only the average outcome, but also the consistency of results. Thank you for your support. I'm glad to hear that you enjoy my YouTube channel.